40-year-old alleged sex trafficker Matt Gates was in the news again involving a teenager. But this time, it was because Gates got owned over 2 million times by a 19-year-old activist. I'm sure by now you've seen this video of Matt Gates giving a misogynistic and fatphobic speech at the Turning Point USA Student Action Summit. Have you watched these pro-abortion, pro-murder rallies? The people are just disgusting. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. This is actually George Carlin's joke about anti-abortionists like Matt Gates, but Gates tried to reverse it so he could attack women and leave it to a Republican to steal someone else's joke, have it written on paper in front of them, and still butcher the punchline. Also, considering Gates' history, is anyone else concerned that he was allowed to say this stuff, let alone be in a room full of teenagers? Now, if you don't know the history of butthead-looking Matt Gates. Here's some background. It should come as no surprise that Gates' former high school classmates described him as an asshole. Some even said they could have predicted his sex scandals, and others, they called Gates an emotional vampire. In 2008, Gates was arrested for a DUI after driving back from a nightclub called The Swamp. Also, this thing known as Matt Gates coming out of the swamp seems very fitting. Early on in Matt Gates' career as a politician, he invented a sex game where he and his fellow male colleagues got points for sleeping with aides, interns, lobbyists, and married legislators. Gates also has a habit of sharing nude photos on the house floor of women that he has slept with. You know, typical behavior for a hypocritical God-loving Christian. In 2017, Gates voted against the Combating Human Trafficking in Commercial Vehicle Act. Surprise, surprise, the guy who is currently being investigated for sex trafficking and having sex with a minor voted against the anti-human trafficking bill. Oh, and in 2018, Gates invited white nationalist Chuck Johnson to Trump's State of the Union. And when Gates was asked about it, he pulled a Trump and said, don't know the guy. In 2019, Gates tweeted that Florida's welcome sign should be changed to, there is no wage that you can't be sexy. Something a sexual predator would absolutely say. Even Matt Gates's sister-in-law finds him weird and creepy. And when she was 19, Gates tried to set her up with an older man who was divorced and had a child. So then in 2021, a federal investigation was opened up into Matt Gates and his friend slash disgraced former Seminole County tax collector, Joel Greenberg. Greenberg originally faced 33 federal charges, but cut a deal with prosecutors and pleaded guilty to six charges, including sex trafficking a minor. In a confession letter written by Greenberg, he says that he and Gates both paid for sex with multiple women as well as a girl who was 17 at the time. They provided cash, gas money, gifts, rent, or partial tuition payments via Venmo. Also, no one should be surprised that this creep had to literally pay girls to have sex with him. And in that very same confession letter, Greenberg discusses asking Roger Stone to help him secure a pardon from former President Donald Trump for the price of $250,000. Speaking of pardons, we found out during the January 6 hearings that Matt Gates asked for a pardon for everything from the beginning of time till now. So what is Matt Gates trying to hide and how many crimes has Matt Gates committed since birth? And the pardons don't stop there. Matt Gates was also working on getting Roger Stone a pardon back in 2019. Here's a clip that was recorded by documentary filmmakers following Roger Stone for their film, A Storm Foretold. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'll go down hard though. I'll well, fight it right to the bitter end. Yeah, but I, I don't think you're gonna go down at all at the end of the day. Well, we'll see. Three, we're three weeks from trial. Yeah. I mean, uh, I may have to appeal to the big man because I got, it's the District of Columbia. We surveyed 120 jurors. 90 of them know who I am and they hate my guts. Voluntarily. I don't think the big guy can let you go down. This is so fucked up. And then there's this audio clip of Matt Gates attempting to sound like a mobster. Well, we shall see. I won't fold that, you can bet. They already tried that. Huh? Okay. And, and the boss still has a very favorable He sends that message from time to time. He knows what it is. It would have been easy to make this go away, but I couldn't live with myself. So jumping to this year, 2022, Matt Gates voted against another anti-human trafficking bill. The creep is literally telling everyone who he is. Again. And what's even worse is that 19 other Republicans voted against this bill as well. It turns out that fellow insurrectionists such as Biggs, Boebert, Brooks, Gomer, Gosar, Green, and Perry 
are pro-human trafficking. In the span of five years, the Republican Party has gone from one person being publicly pro-human trafficking to 20. Republicans creepily project their own sick obsession with pedophiles, people's genders, and the LGBTQ community. This is the same party that forces a pregnant 10-year-old rape victim to have a child, but then accuses others of being groomers. It's almost like they're not so subtly telling us who they really are. And now that brings us to Matt Gates body shaming 19 year old activist, Olivia Juliana. Quick side note, I've noticed there's a trend with Republican men getting off on harassing women. Alex Stein, Eric Greitens, Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr. I mean, the list goes on. Anyway, back to Gates. He sent this tweet with Olivia's photo, and this, my friends, is the moment that Matt Gates stepped in a huge pile of shit. Olivia is one of the toughest and hardest working activists that I know, and she's not even 20 years old yet. Gates tried to own the libs and what followed was a masterclass in activism. Here's Olivia on Katie Fang's show. So you've called Gates's comments outright misogyny and fat phobia. We reached out to the congressman's team about those body shaming claims. This is what we got back from Gates's spokesperson. Quote, Congressman Gates never mentioned the adult's weight. Leftist media did. What do you think about that official response from Matt Gates's office? I think it's quite telling that Gates's office would try to keep the word teenager out of the headline mm -hmm. scene. Time Matt Gates and teenager trended together, it didn't end so well for him. Wait, what was that? I'm Matt Gates and teenager trended together, it didn't end so well for him. Olivia was able to spin Gates's disgusting and hateful comments into something positive and meaningful. I mean, it wasn't even a fair fight. She had him in a chokehold within the first 24 hours. And within 72 hours of his attack, Olivia had raised over $1 million for abortion funds. And then just 48 hours later, she raised over $2 million. Olivia raised over $2 million dollars off of Matt Gates's forehead. And at the end of the day, sex trafficker Matt Gates is nothing more than a loudmouth privileged below average white guy who got into office due to nepotism. Gates has accomplished nothing during his time as a lawmaker other than a very long list of scandals. You know, people say don't mess with Texas, but I feel like the real lesson here is don't fuck with Texas women. Way to go, Olivia. Well, I'm Gabe Sanchez and this has been What was that? <laughs>